Hello everybody, Pastor Randy here and wanted to share with you a quick little devotional thought. Um, I think we've all had uh, times in our life where just kind of wonder why did this happen or uh, how come this happened and we try to figure it out or what is God up to or um, you know, how could he let something like this go on, or whatever it is, something like that. Um, or we listen to people around us tell a similar story of what they're going through and wondering, how, where's the answer for this? Uh, in the context of how come this is going on? And in our relationship with God, we know that He has the final word. We know that we have a security in Him in eternity, but we also have a security in Him in this life. And yet we want to figure everything out, you know, that goes on in our life. I want to read something to you from the Gospel of John, um, chapter 19. Um, and this is as they pierce Jesus' side. And uh, it's verse uh, 34, 35, um, 36, 37, right in there. And it says, But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it has borne witness. His testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling the truth, that you also may believe. And this is John saying, I saw this happen. I'm a testimony of this. And what I'm telling you is true. And then it says, For these things took place, the reason they happened, was that the scripture might be fulfilled, not one of his bones will be broken, and again another scripture says, they will look on him who they have pierced. And we know that he is um, taking this back to what was revealed and prophesied about the coming of the Messiah, what would happen. Um, in the book of Isaiah. But at the moment it was happening, John and the other disciples, they didn't connect the dots yet. And so in the moment it was happening, he's writing about it. Now, he could not have written the last couple verses I read that these things took place so that the scripture might be fulfilled. There's no way that he could write that at the moment. This is something as he wrote, he looks back on. You know, we say things like hindsight is twenty twenty. Well, that's not always true either. Some of our deductions from what we see uh, that we kind of deduct and come up with uh, sometimes helps us, but we don't know that it's completely, purely accurate if we're real honest. Sometimes we figure things out why they happen, and other times we come up with the best solution we think and try to pull positive out of it um, for those who have a faith in Christ or see the glass half full those who have a different perspective or are prone to be negative they may not look and consider those things but in Christ John writes this and I want you to know that he couldn't have written this at the moment okay it was after the Holy Spirit was poured out. After his experience with the Holy Spirit, he gained revelation, he gained understanding that he could write things like, this is the reason that took place. I get it now. The Holy Spirit helped me connect the dots. He brought revelation to me. He brought understanding to me. So what I want to mention to you is that maybe you're going through something or have before that isn't really resolved and it pesters you today because you couldn't lay it to rest with not knowing. Um, hopefully the things that the Holy Spirit can and is willing, that God is willing to reveal to us, we listen to. And for the things that he doesn't tell us, that we can put our head on the pillow at night and just have peace in him, knowing that if he wants to tell me I'm here to listen, but I am not going to drive myself crazy about what has happened and let it rob me of the present day that I'm living in and the days to come that he wants to do things in and through my life. 
So this is what I want to mention to you. If you're going through something and you wonder, what is God up to? At the moment John saw what was Jesus was going through, he couldn't figure it out. But it was after John's experience with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit revealed to him, helped him connect the dots of what was going on and why it was happening. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, um, I encourage you to read that chapter. It talks about the Holy Spirit revealing the mind of God to people who seek Him, who know Him, who believe, who have faith, that the Holy Spirit can give them revelation and we can go, okay, I get it, I understand. The person of the world can't grasp that because they are things of the Spirit. So if you want to know what's going on or what God is up to, ask Him. Don't just leave yourself thinking of your best deduction from it. That can drive us crazy. Have a peace with God. Ask Him to reveal. And if He's not telling, be good with it. Be at rest. But I want you to know the key for revelation and understanding what God is up to in our individual life, globally, I, I believe this, that the Holy Spirit, according to Scripture, knows the mind of God, and God reveals those things, those secrets, to His friends. And I want to encourage you, spend time with the Lord, spend time with the Holy Spirit, and not just trying to get answers for things, but build a relationship with Him. And part of that is getting understanding about what God is up to in our individual life and also on a greater scope. Friends, let's walk in the Spirit. Stay close to Him, and He will tell you secrets. God bless you.